Today we're going to be talking about multiple alleles Punnett squares. And multiple alleles Punnett squares are a little more complicated because you have a number of different options as to what you can get for a phenotype. So we're going to do specifically an example using blood type. So there's actually two different genotypes that can give you type A blood and two different genotypes that can give you type B blood. But type AB blood is a co-dominant trait only if you get a A allele from one parent and a B allele from the other. And if you have type O blood, that's the result of two recessive alleles. So today, just to make it as hard as possible, I'm going to do a combination of somebody who is heterozygous and has type A blood with someone who is heterozygous and has type B blood. And so when you set this up, you have to make sure that you put one parent on each side of the punnet. Because if not, it will really mess up your results. So in this case, even though this parent has type A blood and this parent has type B blood, 25% of their kids are going to have AB blood. Okay? 25% of their kids are going to have type B blood because the B is dominant over the uh, type O allele. 25 of their kids are going to have type A blood for the same reason, and then 25 are going to have type O blood. So even though we're talking about somebody with type A and somebody with type B, you're going to get four different allele combinations for their offspring. And that is how you do a multiple allele Punnett square. Good luck.